Hello everyone and welcome to another What's New in MXU. My name is Stéphane Couture. I'm joined today by Louis-Philippe Gendron. Hello Stéphane. Thanks for being here. Uh, so we're going to do a quick uh, overlook of the new features of MXU 5.17 and 5.18 today, starting with uh, Louis-Philippe and OmniPC. Yes, uh, with 5.18, we just integrate new layout. Um, if we go to um, the layout for the weld, mm -hmm. we now have uh, the new multi multiple groups and layout AC. So now instead of having an S scan on the field, we only have like uh, the A scan on the left and the C scan on the right. And also we had another new layout, same ID, but with the B scan. So we just had uh, the, you know, the A scan on the left and the B scan on the right here. In every B scan, you can have its own activate merge B scan as well. So the screen being fully dedicated to scan views as opposed to uh, the S scan or sectoral scans. Exactly. Perfect. What about uh, 2D mapping or raster scan? Oh, yes. Also, we just create another new layout for uh, the corrosion mapping. So it is going to be the CSA, just mm -hmm. right there. And the goal of this one is to have more space on the C scan here. That will help to get the uh, better idea of the indications for the inspector. Yeah, C scan being the master view for uh, 2D mappings. Yes, exactly. So on my side of things, uh, we have the OmniScan X3. So as you can see, uh, I'm currently in the scan plan with just a uh, generic uh, one inch or 25 millimeter V weld using a compound scan. And as I exit or accept the scan plan, we uh, end up with this layout, uh, default range of 50 millimeters, uh, way outside of the overlay. So what I want to show you is uh, if I go in the UT settings advanced, you can see that we have, as we used to have, the effective digitizing frequency, net digitizing frequency that are read-only. But the points quantity is now read-only and compression is now editable. So what that means is you now have control over the essential parameter or the essential variable of the uh, A scan signal. So we have compression factor of two, net digitizing frequency of 50. Uh, if I look on the cal block, and actually let me get, uh, get rid of the menu. If we look on the cal block, the um, side drill hole is way down there. We don't have enough range and Eventually, we don't have enough range for the weld itself. So we want to change that, go to uh, general, type in the new range. Now we have plenty to cover the first leg, the second leg, as well as the side drill holes for calibration. But now if I return to advanced, we still have a compression factor of two, meaning still a net digitizing frequency of 50 megahertz to uh, respect the procedure guidelines or uh, inspection codes, but the point quantity is now adjusted. So it's no longer linked to range adjustment or, or point quantity adjustment. You have full control over uh, the essential variables. So that would be item uh, number two. And in terms of performances with OmniPC, uh, Lou Philippe? Yes, uh, and also uh, this performance is apply applicable on the X3 as well. It's, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very important to mention. Um, so if I'm going back to this uh, well, uh, not well, but corrosion map we have here, mm -hmm. we can see we just increase the performance in index scan. So if I move it uh, like this very quickly, you can see there is no more lag anymore. And uh, also we increase the, the, the performance on this side too for to to get like uh, to have a that will be more easy for the inspector to do the analysis on that part here. so as you move both index and scan data cursors uh the link views refresh live yeah so that's cool more <laughs> yeah more performances and better uh better you feel for the user at the end of the day yes <laughs> of course so that sums it up for today uh, thank you for joining with philip thank you stefan and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or reach out to your uh, local sales representative. Thank you and have a good day.